Hello and welcome to another video of the IT Career Guide YouTube channel. On my channel I talk about anything related to IT career, be it getting into IT, breaking into IT, so to speak, or if you already work in information technology, how to advance your career and uh, what career path to choose from. So in today's video we're going to talk about the A plus certification. The A plus certification is uh, provided or organized by a company slash organization called Comptia. Comptia um, has several certifications in their program and A plus is one of the oldest certifications around. It has evolved significantly over the years. And um, in this video, as mentioned, we're gonna go into the detail. So the A plus certification really is an entry level certification for help desk or system administrators. So if you um, don't have really a good solid college background or if you wanna expand your college background um, to get into IT like for a help desk job, the A plus certification can be really helpful. The A plus certification covers a lot of the hardware and basic operating system uh, related topics. The certification is made of two exams that you need to pass. Previously, and I think this was before 2011, and don't quote me on that, the a certification was a single exam. Um, it was even at one point never expiring, but uh, CompTIA has adjusted and um, aligned with other uh, companies and organizations that administer and maintain certifications. And so these certifications now expire at a certain time after it was originally published. The reasons for IT certifications to, uh, to be expired or to be renewed is really just to stay up with technology. Technology changes a lot. And uh, yeah, if you got certified 15 years ago, um, that is most likely not current anymore. So um, the certifications need to be renewed usually, or you can just use them for a specific purpose and then move on with your career and don't necessarily have to renew these certifications. So the A plus certification, as mentioned before, is help desk related or for junior system administrators. It really goes down into the nitty gritty of how is a computer actually built. And uh, with that, I mean really um, motherboard, graphics card, hard drive, and so on, so that you as a help desk technician or future help desk technician really uh, can gain a proper understanding of how to troubleshoot a system, how to replace parts, hardware parts of a computer, or maybe even build your own computer. When I started out in IT many, many years ago, I built my own computers and it was a lot of fun. At a certain point in time, uh, with my career also advancing, I moved on to buying laptops. Laptops is much harder to, to build yourself, so there are not cases that you can really buy and, and uh, build them, so you have to usually get a prefabricated laptop. But laptops also come with more complexity for troubleshooting. So if you replace a hard drive on a laptop, well, and you open up one of the newer laptops today, I'm making this video in 2020, many laptops don't actually have an old fashioned hard drive anymore. It's actually just a chip. And often you cannot even replace that chip anymore. It's just attached to the motherboard and part of the motherboard. So if something breaks, really, um, yeah, you have to send it to the manufacturer or depending on your support model, um, they send out a technician. And uh, especially if you work in a business environment and you um, buy support contracts with Dell, HP or others, they send their technicians out to repair laptops and computers on site. So and that's where the A plus certification comes in really helpful. If you have a great understanding of hardware, you are trained by companies like Dell or HP and become certified on their hardware, then you can work for these support organizations, go out to customers and open up laptops, replace hardware inside these laptops, diagnose really what the problem is if it has not been able to uh, be diagnosed remotely. So the certification uh, really comes in handy here, not just understanding the hardware, knowing the different hardware pieces, but then on top of the hardware sits the operating system. So if you have a computer that is crashing and uh, you're getting a blue screen of death, uh, if it's a Windows computer, um, often there is some information available on the screen of what the problem is, but more often than not, 
um, it's kind of a guessing game. So for you as a computer technician, you then have to identify if this is really a hardware related problem or an operating system related problem. Maybe it is a driver problem or a BIOS or firmware type of problem. And uh, the A plus certification, as you go through that training, it can be self-guided, it can be guided. Um, you will learn how to look at the different parts of the operating system and how to troubleshoot these type of situations. The A plus certification is not just for Windows computers, but it also covers Linux and Mac so that you can really um, have a broad spectrum of knowledge. You can work in different environments. The A plus certification does not only uh, cover computer hardware and computer operating system. It also goes into mobile, so iOS, Android. Um, you learn the basics about these operating systems. If you uh, look at this uh, skill set and why you would need it, well, so if you work in a corporate setting, companies hand out iOS devices, iPads, iPhones, they hand out Android devices to their um, people. So some companies on a larger scale, some on a smaller, but if you work on a help desk or in a call center, um, tier one type of support, uh, you will receive phone calls potentially, and you have to walk users through the different uh, pieces of their operating systems. They have problem, problems adding an application to an iPhone or reconfigure an email or if they got a replacement device you have to help them to set up multi-factor authentication or applications like Okta and Okta Verify so related to multi-factor authentication or MFA multi-factor authentication in general needs to be set up so more and more companies are switching to making accounts more secure so that you have two-factor authentication two-factor slash multi-factor authentication. So um, you're not only using a user ID and a password, but you're also getting a code on your phone, be a text message or through an app. So the uh, A-plus certification provides a lot of training on that side and guides you through that, and you learn that skill that is really critical for working today in a corporate setting. Um, that leads me to the next topic. The A-plus certification contains um, quite a few questions and uh, areas about information security. Information security is not just virus protection, it goes much further. So, And um, today's world, it's so critical to have a good understanding of information security. What do you do when you have a virus outbreak on a machine or when you see that that virus is spreading or if it's ransomware that is starting to encrypt hard drives or network shares? So you as a help desk technician, um, tier one, tier two, tier three, it doesn't matter, or junior administrator, system administrator, you need to understand uh, these basics and you know how to respond. So the A plus certification really guides you through these topics. It gives you a great basic foundation that will enable you to apply for your first job in IT and it will be um, really a stepping stone forward. The A plus certification is widely respected in all industries, so it's not industry specific. So you can work for a software company, for a healthcare company, for finance and Wall Street type of company or anything. Um, for a managed services provider. So the certification itself really um, provides a lot of value across the different areas. So this was an introductory video for the A plus certification. I will go into more detail in other videos. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, it really helps me to um, get my videos ranked on YouTube and to get more people to see the videos. And of course, if you haven't subscribed, I would appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel. And I'm looking forward to see you in my next video. Thank you and have a great day. Bye-bye.